Hello, 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 folks. Chateau Red, the grown ass teenager in the building. And just so much shootings. <laughs> Everything is, is 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 murder, death, kill. Anyway, um, I'm doing a reaction on a man whose shot sisters dies after shooting himself during arrest. I guess he said he ain't going to jail. Iron Cold. Melanie, that suspect is now dead. That's according to Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, who also said that that person is believed to be the gunman accused of shooting two sisters right here in the middle of this neighborhood street. And sadly, one of those women ended up dying. Mm. Two gunshots and screaming. Security camera footage captures the chaotic aftermath of a shooting that happened on Monday night in the middle of this neighborhood that sent two bystanders running for safety and left neighbors shaken. It made me scared. Because right here, we live in here for 24 years, it never happened. It's so quiet. Two women, 18 and 20 years old, were shot in the middle of the street. Investigators say they are sisters and it's unclear if they even live here. The teenager ended up getting killed and the other is in critical condition. The entire shooting was captured on security camera. To be honest with you, it was, it was shocking, you know. It's right here in front of my home. And, you know, I've lived here almost 11 years and I hadn't seen nothing like that before. And in that neighbor's security camera footage, you can see victim number one walking right up to the suspect vehicle, even opening up the driver's side door, talking to this person for a couple of minutes. And then a few minutes later, victim number two comes and stands right here. A third person stands back here. And a minute later, two gunshots. Both of these victims drop to the ground. This third person runs to the back of the car, takes cover. That's when the shooter takes off. That third person is seen here screaming for somebody to call 911. The shooting prompted an intense search to find that shooter. HCSO deputies tracked down a possible suspect almost 12 hours later and followed him to the parking lot of a Willis Kroger. Uh, they attempted to effect arrest on the suspect. At that time, the suspect discharged a firearm, striking himself in the head. And at this point, it's still unclear what led up to that shooting. It's possible there may have been an argument. And also from that footage that we watched for ourselves, it does look like at least one of these victims may have known the gunman just based on how they were standing there talking for a few minutes before those gunshots rang out. So, of course, we're going to continue to stay on top of this invest investigation and keep you updated. We're live from Friends with Charlie Anthony, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Charlie, such a terrifying start to the morning for so many people out there. Thank you. Yes, keep us updated because I need to know what's going on here. But I, what I think is the one that was at the car talking to him, that probably was his girl. Or he was dealing with her in some type of way. And they was probably having an argument. The sister always butting in, probably. <laughs> Um, she probably butted in and he probably said, you know what? Both of y'all gonna get it. Bop, bop. I'm out of here. And then when it was time, when he saw them flashing lights, he knew it was time to go to jail and he know he ain't built for that. He ain't ready for jail. He ain't built. He said, man, I'd rather die than go to jail. At least he didn't turn the firearm on the cops and start shooting at them. Um, cause he could have just went out like that. Like, fuck it. Let me go out with a bang. I'm going out. Let's go out. Cause that can happen. But good thing he wasn't thinking. He wasn't on that type of time. And, um, well, RIP to the shorty that he did kill. And I hope that the other sister pulls through and, um, you know, good riddance to him. People got to get their emotions under wrap. I'm tired of saying it, but it is what it is. It's what's got to happen. People got to stop and think. What I said, three, two, one, one, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? By the time you finish that, you should be calmed down by then. That's what I think. It's my opinion. 
And um, that's all I got to say about that, folks. Later, y'all.